What's going on everyone? Welcome back. I hope everybody's having a great day. That's right folks, two moon videos. I know how you guys uh, love these. This time we're going to have a look at Apollo 10. Now this is on a site and I'll show you the site and you'll get the link to it. I'm going to try to give you the link to the exact photo so you don't have to go through it. And of course you can check out the rest of the photos in the gallery as well. Okay, so what we're going to do is I'm going to show you the photo first from the site. Take out your magnifiers because I want you to see a couple things before we even take this into Photoshop and have a closer look. And you're going to see some stuff already in this photo without doing a thing to it. But then once we bring this brightness down, wait until you see the stuff we see. There's actually one structure that looks like it has spotlights in front of it. Or it could very well just be something they highlighted. You folks can tell me whether you believe these are actual structures or just lunar landscape. Let's just jump right into this, shall we? All right, here's a photo. And you can see it is Apollo 10. And you have to turn your head to the right in order to see this correctly. But once I put this in Photoshop, I do correct it. I believe it's like 50 degrees off. So anyway, you can expand this right here. And of course, on the bottom, you can see that little down arrow. So you can download this photo yourself. But I want you folks to take a look at this right-hand side right here. You can see my cursor. It's very, probably very small on your screen, but you see it. Right there. And have a look right in this area. You have to tilt your head to the right. Get out your magnifiers. And look at these right here. Now, you can see a lot of these areas have been brightened up. You can see this. There's no craters that are going to look like this unless they're lined with gold or some kind of precious metal, right? But when you see what's really in this photo, wow, it's, it's actually pretty sweet. Okay, this is the photo right here. And you can see it's from apollospace.com. And it's a gallery of photos. And you can see the other ones behind it right here. And again, you'll be able to download this. So you guys, as always, you'll get the link. All right, let's just take this into Photoshop. Here's the photo. You can see I rotated it right here about 50 degrees counterclockwise. We're going to zoom right into this. And again, just have a look at the right hand side right here with your magnifiers. Now I'm going to zoom in a little bit down here. And you're going to see this It's going to be still in the dark area because look at the difference in contrast. Pretty dark on this side here. Super white here. So once we bring down this area, this will get even darker, but it doesn't stop us from seeing what we want to see. Down here as well. We're going to see some crazy things, especially right here. There's some weird objects sitting right there. And then we're going to look at these other pieces that are in this brighter area, as well as up here. Now, what's really cool, guys, it's like when you get into this, it's almost like you're flying over this area, and it's like almost completely dark. And you're looking at structures between trees and a forest. Now, I'm not saying that's what it is. I'm just saying that when you see it, it's kind of got this weird, eerie feeling to it. All right, let's just jump into this and get into the full enhancement and have a look from the bottom to the top of this. This is cool. Okay. Again, you can see this has gotten a lot darker. And what we try to do is take a lot of this out, this crater. And clearly, you're not going to see a crater. That looks nothing natural because there's a lot of stuff in that thing and they're hiding it. Okay. First object. Really weird. Just look at the way that thing is designed right there. You can also see this area right here. Not sure what that is. But here's the thing. We've darkened it up. What we're trying to see is areas that they didn't completely take out. In other words, this is what they do. They get the photo, an actual normal photo. What they'll try to do is put like a black anything over, kind of scribble over said anomalies, and then make it super, super bright so you cannot see it. But what you can do is once you bring this down, you can see things that look like they're partially covered up, sometimes not so much. All these little pieces in here. You can see what looks like shadowing right here. And these look like they're kind of sticking up, but it's hard to tell. We've got this item over here. Notice how it has a brightened up squared area? Is it something that's illuminated, meaning it's lit up itself? Some other items you can catch in here a little bit here and there. Up here. It almost looks like some of these things have lights on. See that? There's something right here, and it looks like there's a light in front of it. Now, that's not the one I was talking about when I said, we're going to show you it looks like there's some kind of weird light on it, or lights. Looks like spotlights of some sort. Check these out. This is a giant mess here. They went out of the way to super brighten it up. But check these objects out right here. One. Something right there. I'm not sure what to make of that. This is where it starts to get pretty cool. This item here. Look at the design of this thing. Look at that. That's just neat. Notice the actual square piece. Looks like something illuminated on the top. We have another platform or something like this here. And then, of course, this goes in here. And again, folks... They were trying to just color this stuff out. 
whatever technique they used back then, I strongly believe that they did this later on. In other words, they had their own techniques back then, but they probably said, listen, we noticed that people are starting to pull these apart because they're getting the technology to literally rip these apart. So we got to go back into these and doctor them up. I've noticed on many, many moon photos, they have done this. I've seen some that are first generation and I've seen some of the third generation, totally different, censored, sanitized out, completely whited out. And yet when you bring this down, if I was to do this and show you that, it's right there. I can still see that square platform. I can see this one here is brighter as well, but something bright right there. Can you folks see that? A little too much sharpening, but you get the idea. These items over here. Again, no crater is going to do that. They literally look like they have things on top of them as opposed to a concave crater, right? Here's some pretty cool items right here. I showed you in the beginning to look here on the right-hand side. Check these things out. Here. And I'm going to zoom in a little bit too as well. All these areas right here. Check this structure out. Whatever that is. There's something very large, dome-like, or whatever that is, sitting on this whited area. We can see things up here almost look like little squares. See, there's one here, one here. Almost looks like there's another on the side. It looks like they're off the ground a little bit right here. And then there's, it drops to the bottom here. These items right here. Okay. If we go up again, look at these pieces here. Now, let me zoom into these. Check them out a little bit more, folks. Back up a little bit. We have this item here. It almost looks like a crater here. But then it has what looks like either stilts or it's just high on a hillside. And it's got uh, some kind of supports or something like that right here now i've seen this kind of thing before these right here we've got these five dots or these arranged kind of structures i'm not sure what that is something here all of these items right here look at the way this one is this one's cool because the way this thing is set up it literally has like different levels But again, something rising above the pad there as opposed to being concaved. You can see where there's one thing here and another one on the smaller section. In my opinion, these are not craters. Here's the other item I was telling you about. And you have to look carefully at some of these. This item here, it looks like it has like these spotlights in the area. What I mean by that is if you look, usually if this is a structure... They put this whiteness all over. They highly contrast it or whatever they do to try to get, get it out. But yet, when I back this up, watch this. It literally looks like it has some kind of weird lighting or something. I don't know what to make of that. See that? Now, is that anomaly still there? Absolutely is. It's right there. You can still see it right there. It almost has like this crisscross kind of thing right there. See that? It is, in fact, in the photo. Bring all the brightness down. And you can see these pretty well. Yeah, I'm, I'm not seeing just standard craters here. Now, this could very well be a crater. This makes sense. It kind of has that kind of look of concaved and everything else, right? Here. You see it coming around, doing this. And again, there's something on top of this. Also looks like there's something here. Almost like it's whited out, but you can see something right there. See that? Let me just jump in a little bit here. Next to this other little lighted up structure, we have something right here. Not sure what to make of it. Right there. And again, all of these just strange shapes we see in here. It looks like, if you were to back up a little bit, they appear to almost have roads next to some of them. 
and they may not. These They might have to fly back and forth to all these things. I don't know. But when you're looking at these, right, it's like you're looking into like a forest area, like just a darkened area. That must be really bizarre to see these things because you can see almost complete darkness in this whole area to the bottom right. And yet, look at the things that are in it. You can still see some of this stuff. Now, when we go back to the raw photo, you can still see these. Now, if, if you didn't dock in this and enhance this, you'd probably say, oh, they're all just craters. I can see that from here. Look. Oh, yeah, they're absolutely all craters. Well, again, it's been completely sanitized where you can't see this whole area. Why would there be a cutoff right here? Why would there be a cutoff unless they purposely did that for a reason? There's no way around that. That's pretty much it. If you check these out, they look like they're just scattered about the landscape where they have, like, there's maybe small hills, and they're on the hills, like here. We've got other structures here. Look at these. This is just cool. In my opinion, these are absolute structures right here on the lunar surface. Almost looks like we got a crater right here. But this thing, look at this. That clearly does not look like a simple rock hill Folks, you be the judge. Folks, what are we seeing here? In my humble opinion, we're seeing what looks like structures. I do see a few craters, of course. Some of them I'm 50-50 on, and some of them there's no way, again, in my opinion, that those are natural and just simple craters. As always, folks, drop your comments down below. Let me know what you think and what you are seeing. And as always, don't forget to give the video a thumbs up so YouTube will share it. If you're new to the channel and you like what you see, go ahead and hit the subscribe button and don't forget to hit the notification bell on the right-hand side. And when you do, the drop box comes down. Go ahead and hit all so that you'll be notified of any new videos coming out. Anyway, folks, thanks for watching. Always appreciate it. And we'll see you in the next one. Peace.